This is interview number four with Russ Kammerer, the designer and builder of Petalwell Resonant Covers. Russ, what is your background as relates to shaping materials professionally? Uh, well, I, uh, first off, I don't think it's any small uh, per chance that we met. I think that a lot of times things were meant to be and for us to cross paths, I think we're was really a thing that was meant to be. Uh, it, my skill set comes from a pretty varied background, uh, doing uh, auto body on and off for a number of years, almost 30 years. Uh, so being involved in sheet metal, welding, straightening, uh, polyester uh, applications, and then went into custom work for quite a while. I did a lot of uh, custom auto body work and show, show material. And went on from there to uh, Worked for a while in a boat factory. I built sport fishing fiberglass boats for a while in the rigging department and learned all the machinery and different bits and pieces to uh, to add up there. I, I moved on from there to a picture framing shop. We have the highest tech picture framing shop in the Northwest area here and, uh, and an art gallery. And so uh, once again, learned to craft a lot of different wood uh, materials, metal framing, we went into a lot of custom pieces that a lot of other frame shops would refuse to do. And so we would, we're always kind of looking for stuff outside the norm. And, uh, and, and then I moved into uh, a machinist position where I'm a machinist and tool and die maker and an electronics assembler. And I've been involved in a research and development team that built uh, underground locating equipment, transmitters, uh, and receivers for a municipalities and pumpers and different people involved in infrastructure. And so all of those skills really have come around to uh, where I can craft a lot of different materials pretty confidently. Uh, it, a, lot of, a lot of people that I've gotten to be associated with likewise are great contributors to this. I'm a great believer in brainstorming and bringing other intelligent people into conversations to, to kick ideas around and brainstorm things. I find that's very productive. It's not typical that an inventor like me would work with a designer and builder like you where the first prototype was perfect. How did you do that? I think that was a, a really, a stroke, a stroke of luck, if anything, you know, in the end it turned out, yes, between working with the CAD operator and um, taking the time to measure the instrument out itself physically, start with some good sound measurements um, and, and build from there. I find that uh, it, it worked out really well as far as the first prototype hitting the mark. <clears throat> we had very, very few refinements to have to make after the first prototype because we took the time to make sure that it measured up first. Uh, being a 3D printer all computer controlled, once you tell it the dimensions, 99% uh, of the time it's going to lay it down like you want it to. So, Great, thank you. Um, let's do some sound tests using my Bulletini with wireless, made by uh, <clears throat> Blows Me Away. Let's start off with the uh, Gregor Mare. Seidel Saxony Orchestra tuned, fitted with Kettlewell resonant covers. <laughs> 